Like I told those guys out there, I just have a hard time pitching somebody who doesn't feel 100%. So he got cranked up, and that's why the game started a little bit later. I hate to do it to the other team and, and, and guys out there, but we'll we'll evaluate him and see where he's at. Was it something similar to what happened earlier this year with the soreness? Actually, it wasn't. It was just something kind of freaky, you know. So we'll, like I said, I don't want to say it yet because I don't know exactly what it is, but we'll we'll put it out there. But I don't think it's anything major. At what point did you tell Morris he was going to start? <laughs> 15 minutes before the game. So uh, he ran, he didn't have his shoes on. He ran in, put his shoes on, and uh, got ready real quick. And, and, you know, I was just telling the team, I was, pre you know, he's had it tough. First team all league guy. You come out the next year and it just hasn't gone your way. And not for lack of effort, but uh, he just kept persevering and, and gave us a great outing today. He had guys on every single one, but he kept, kept training out there second, third. Just how'd you like the way you battled today? I, I loved it because that's been the, the hard part this year. It's just you know when it's gotten tough, we've had a hit in there, and today he just he just didn't give in. Yeah. What jersey? Rodriguez lead off home run today. Just to, how good was that to get it from home? I thought it was huge. I mean, it's a um, you know what really you come off the field, they got the bases loaded, so they the shirt, they lose buddy. momentum there, and then we get an easy run. Or I say an easy run, but a quick run. Uh, right there with Rod's lead off home run. I wish you'd do that more often. <laughs> so, how about the sweep? Uh, just in general. I mean, obviously, you take it one game at a time. But just coming into no, this, you right. probably thought you had to. You no, know. we had to make up some ground. Yeah. So, I mean, we're every every day for us in the Big Ten, we put ourselves in a hole. So we're in that process of climbing out. So uh, the sweep was huge. I mean, and Rutgers had been playing really well in the league, so mm -hmm. it was nice for us to get those three. Mm -hmm. You mentioned making up ground. Just how important is it being five and six in the Big Ten now? Yeah. <laughs> a lot better than being what we were on Thursday, you know. So we, um, you know, we go to Illinois next weekend for a big matchup, um, a national type of matchup. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But but we need to play well. We we need to, um, you know, get out there and compete. And I think, uh, like I said, we, we have a tough road out because I think we got Illinois and Michigan State and Maryland and Ohio State are our twelve left. So um, just. 12 really tough games, but uh, we, we feel confident. Do you have any idea how you'll use Kyle Hart the rest of the way? Is it going to kind of be bullpens on the weekends, maybe a spot start here or there? Do you have any idea? Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit of everything, just depending on what we need. Um, you know, running him out there today, he felt fine, so that was good to use him to match up, but we, uh, we'll we use him in a couple different ways. Any of any word on the starter for Tuesday at Indiana State? No clue. No clue. I, I wish. I mean, we got to see how guys feel. and. See how we match up with rights and left because we got the Tuesday, two really good midweek opponents in Evansville and Indiana State this week. So we, we feel like we really have to match up.